Hello guys and welcome back to a series I have not done in a very, very long time. Welcome to the return of Plastic Purgatory, and what better way to return to it than by going through my Transformers graveyard. Now this graveyard is uh, very, very special. Uh, these toys are, every single one in here is either missing pieces, uh, missing pieces too much to the point where they're non-displayable, uh, they are broken, horribly incomplete, marred, destroyed, what have you. I have acquired these toys through several different means and methods. Uh, the thrift store, uh, post office, junk lots. Uh, I think some of these I got from a fan. Uh, I did a video ages and ages ago. Uh, Logan gave me a huge box full of toys, and not all of them were, were savable, so some of those ended up in here. This is all a big Transformers graveyard. Now, the reason I'm going through this is because I actually just got a toy from my brother, uh, and the one that he had, it had a broken piece. And I knew, I'm like, oh, I think I have that thing in my, in my graveyard. So let me go through and see if the one I have isn't broken. Uh, so I'll reveal what that is as we go along. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot of stuff in here. These are all a lot of smaller things. Uh, here's a brawl. We're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Uh, so, oh man, buckle up, buckle up. So first of all, I'm sure you noticed this. You noticed this. That's English. Uh, <laughs> this is the Mixmaster portion of an Ultimate Devastator. This thing is very incomplete. It's missing like the the you know mouthpieces. It's missing the little flaps around the head. Uh, it's missing the front of the cab. Uh, this is essentially just junk. It's pretty much just the base of it. I think you move that to like open the mouth, right? This one's batteries work though. So that's really good. Something to keep in mind. Uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, so next up, this is sad. This is like a movie one rescue ratchet. But you can see he's seen some better days. Uh, he's missing, like, the front guard, he's missing his arms, he's missing the back section. Uh, yeah, he's he's definitely seen some better days. But hey, maybe someday I might find some pieces to get him all rebuilt. I have been able to rebuild a few figures via this graveyard. Uh, I got the Movie 1 Dropkick, the deluxe figure, and then I found another one at the thrift store, no, actually at the flea market. found the first one at the thrift store, next one at the flea market, and I was able to combine them and actually make a good figure. So, maybe someday, with all these in here, I might actually be able to complete some guys. Uh, this is a, uh, I think it was a Movie 1 Fast Action Battlers Brawl. It's very close to being displayable, but it's just not enough for me. Uh, so, it's missing the tank turret, so it doesn't have the big turret. Uh, he's missing a foot. Uh, he doesn't have the chest spikes. He's close to being displayable, and it's unfortunate because I love Brawl. Brawl's my boy. I wouldn't mind getting this one complete someday, a little more presentable. Uh, but for now, he's just chilling in the graveyard. Uh, next up in the graveyard, this is the long haul portion of Revenge of the Fallen Ultimate Devastator. So, at some point, you know, if I, oop, <laughs> if I don't drop it, if I need a long haul portion of a Devastator, you know, here I go. I've, I've got it. Uh, so let's keep going. Let's open this bag up real quick. See what we got in here. There's tons of stuff, I'm sure. So first up, we have a chest portion of a Revenge of the Fallen Human Alliance Bumblebee. Oh, man, what an awesome figure. It's so tragic, though. This one is often found incomplete, broken. Uh, it's always missing the head, it seems. Like, you can see this one's definitely missing the head. Uh, missing the mask. Really cool toy, but it's not one that's easy to find complete out in the wild. Uh, here we've got some Sharkticon Megatron pieces. These are actually something that came in handy uh, because I think my brother got in a junk lot or something. I don't remember where I got these Sharkticon Megatron parts. But mine actually suffered a breakage with, I believe, one of the hands. And I was able to use pieces from this, you know, all these junky pieces to actually repair mine and give mine a second gun. So that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Sharkticon Megatron from Transformers Prime. That's a special one. Oh, another piece from Prime. Here's a Predaking arm. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, more Predaking parts. There's a Predaking leg. It's just another leg. Get another leg to Predaking right here. So, very, very special times. Man, I always want to get that big Voyager size Predaking. I never have. Here is a broken uh, Fall of Cybertron Starscream leg. Uh, unfortunately, this is one figure that is prone to breakage. Uh, the connection right there is just not very good. And oftentimes the knee is so tight it actually breaks that. This was kind of repaired, but 
you know, it's it's just broken scrap right now. Here is a, a weapon part to Predaking. So if I were to decide I need that at some point, there we go. Uh, we have a leg to uh, Swindle. Movie 1 Swindle. Fun. Man, it's going to be so fun cleaning all this stuff. It's not. Ooh, I don't know exactly what this is. It's like a gun of sorts, and it's got a, uh, like a wing right there. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to identify that one. Someone in the, ch in the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the chat, it's not live. Someone in the comments, let me know. What else we got? Dark of the Moon Air Raid leg. Uh, Armada Bendy Prime leg. That might come in handy someday. We got some, uh, pieces to a deluxe bumblebee. Those are the arms. Uh, what else we got? Uh, <laughs> looks like we got a mud flap arm, and then like a Revenge of the Fallen swerve leg. It's actually a really cool figure. I actually have that one. Uh, what else we got? We got a piece to an ROTF Mixmaster. That's actually a mold I'd love to have complete someday. Uh, still going, still going. We have an arm to Armada Demolishor, and then this is a painted first edition RC arm. Very odd. Uh, here, I don't have all day. Oh, here's a part of that, uh, like, rescue ratchet. There's, like, the windshield part. Um, we have Dark and Moon Air Raid arm. We have, oh, this is, uh, more parts to, like, a, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Dead End, I believe. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Dead End leg. We have a, oh, I think that's a R.I.D. Prowl leg, I believe. And I think I actually remember seeing an R.I.D. Prowl in here at some point. Yeah, here it is. Isn't that his leg? Yeah. Yeah, so this R.I.D. Prowl is, uh, well, kind of getting there, I guess. There's an R.I.D. Prowl. I have this figure complete. I love it. Uh, so, you know, if mine ever has a breakage or something, there's another Bendy Prime leg. That might come in handy if I ever find a Bendy Prime missing legs. Um, oh, man, the arm looks so familiar. Is this... Like the breakaway? Is this ROTF breakaway? I'm looking on my shelf. I think it's breakaway. I think so. I think it is. Um, what else we have? Uh, that is uh, an extendy bit with a wheel on it. I uh, can't recall that. Uh, here is another, looks like, ugly mud flap arm. There is, looks like a Prime Predaking piece. We're almost done with this bag. Uh, we've got, oh, that's a <laughs> ejector part, and then that's a, a head? Looks like a head, maybe? I'm not sure who that is. That's interesting. This looks like the part of a motorcycle, but also looks like a head. Yeah, I'm, I'm blanking on that. That looks cool, though. And then we have, see, this one's broken. This one's, like, really floppy and broken. You can see where it breaks right there. Uh, it's just where... That piece of plastic right there, where it's supposed to like keep the pin in, is so thin, it just it can't hold and it breaks. And then you got a floppy leg star scream. It's 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 tragic. It really is. Uh, another Predaking part. Man, I wonder if there's a whole Predaking in here. Uh, there's Air Raid's head, and then there is a uh, a leg to somebody. Is this like that guy? That weird like uh, scrap. Uh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, the guy from Revenge of the Fallen, in terms of the microscope. Man, it, it's not... Oh, man, I don't have time to think about the name. We all know who he is. We all know who he is. And then that's, a, I think, a Transformers, like, Chewbacca Millennium Falcon part. Uh, that is Movie 1 Barricade Leg. Another Air Raid part. <laughs> oh, man, there's so much in here. Another Dead End Leg. Uh, looks like that is Cannonball's leg from the first movie. And then a few more parts. Dead end leg. Then we have whatever that is. Then we have a crotch. So I'm going to call it on that bag because we got tons of other big stuff to go through. So what else we got? So this is funny. This was just my brother being fun because he actually was under the... He had possessed these pieces for a while. Uh, this is an amalgamation of, looks like, ROTF Swerve, and then Dive Bomb, and then Swindle into this weird contraption thing that he just duct taped together, or just packing tape together for fun. That's scary. <laughs> but still, sometimes it's kind of fun to have, you know, 
weird creations made out of scrap parts. This, uh, number one, demonstrates how much of a, an explosive, explosive, that's a word. I can't talk. I seriously cannot talk anymore. My tongue has given up. Uh, <laughs> this is an explosion of pieces from ROTF Mixmaster. Again, a mold I'd love to have complete someday, but I've got tons of pieces here in case I get one that's missing something. Uh, what else we have? This one's tragic. She's just missing a leg, man. Come on. All she's missing is a leg. Maybe someday we can reunite her with her leg. This is... Fire Star? No, Nova, Nova Star? Man, I'm... Some of these uh, female Autobots... They're, they blink and you miss some characters. It's hard to remember their names. This one's Flare Up? I, that might be a name. She's had like a few different names, I think. But we'll, we all know who she is. All right. This is another Devastator part. Uh, man, this figure is so weird. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Is this broken? Good, it's not. So, this is actually what I needed. Because my brother came into possession of a near-complete... ROTF Ultimate Devastator, and I took it off his hands. Unfortunately, his had this clip, one of those sides broken off of it. However, this one is intact. So this is a time where my graveyard comes in handy, because now I can restore the Devastator just that bit, that much more. So that's great. That's really great. So I need to set that off to the side, actually. Uh, <laughs> this one's really sad. I think I get this guy at the thrift store. It's one of my first thrift store finds. Really incomplete leader class brawl. This is still a toy to this day. I do not have 100% complete. The one I have is probably 75% complete. Maybe one of these days I'll just, you know, cough up the money, buy a complete one. Because it's kind of hard to get this guy complete. It's a brawl, dude. I love brawl. I want that one complete. Alright, going still. This one's sad. I don't have this toy normally. Uh, this is, I believe... Uh, Energon, Energon Bulkhead? Or cl is this Cliff Jumper? This Cliff Jumper looks really weird. This might be Cliff Jumper. No, this is Cliff Jumper. I think this is Cliff Jumper from Energon. I'm not super well versed in Energon. I was more of a, I mean, you can see right there, I was, I was more of a Cybertron baby. Uh, so Energon was a little before my time, but I think that's Cliff Jumper, and he is, yeah, broken, incomplete. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a goner. This one kills me. Energon Mirage, I think. This is just such a cool design. He turns into this really cool speedboat. I love his head. There's a repaint of this guy. I forget his name, but that's what I want. I want the repaint of this guy. Because it's a really cool mold. Someday I'll get that repaint. But for now, I've got a scrap one. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? <laughs> um, this is uh, more fun parts to dead end, it seems. I might. Uh, I can see he's got one of these things broken off of him. But honestly, I saw some legs. I might be able to get myself an ROTF dead end. For some reason, he's got generation swerve legs. But I might actually have the pieces to make myself a pretty decent ROTF dead end. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I might go through those pieces a little bit more. Uh, but one thing uh, <laughs> that was really cool, it was pointed out to me in the... Uh, like the Revenge of the Fallen, not Revenge of the Fallen, this is Revenge of the Fallen. In the Rise of the Beast Scorponok video, uh, someone said the head is actually based off of this. Because the toy designer saw a custom, like, Beast Wars Scorponok movie design, and it used this head sculpt. So that Scorponok's head is actually based off of this, and that's really cool. I actually really like that. So yeah, I'm actually going to see if I can piece him together. Uh, what else we got? Another Devastator piece. Tons of these. I think we have almost all of them in here besides the main component. Here is uh, the body of our favorite Autobot. Uh, let's toss him away. We have Armada Prime parts. We had his legs, so I don't know if his head and his arms in here. We'll find out. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> man, it's been so long since I've looked through this. We have, looks like that's a sideways door. Another cannonball leg. Another cannonball leg. Uh, here is pieces to one of the horrible RC sisters from Revenge of the Fallen. I've never owned any of those. The Studio Series ones aren't good either. Here is a weird custom painted uh, Beast Hunter Starscream RC combination that my brother got in a job lot once. Uh, I'd love to actually get that Beast Hunter Starscream someday, but uh, yeah, that's something I have. <laughs> what else we got? Here's a uh, sideways right here. 
beat up sideways, very incomplete, very busted. Uh, another Chewbacca piece. We have, looks like the piece of a McDonald's Megatron, maybe? Uh, oh, here's more Predaking parts. I'm sure he's missing his head. Is he missing his head? Yeah, there's no head in there. So yeah, there's decent, like, decent chunk of Predaking, but man, everything's just some parts, too. Here's an Energon Prowl. This is one I have complete. Pretty decent toy. Kind of awkward, though. Kind of an awkward toy. Uh, here is a, uh, like, an Action Battler Drift from Age of Extinction. This one's almost there. It's missing a foot, pretty much. That's it. He's just missing a foot, but that was enough for me to say, ah, I'll just go in the junk box for now. But still, it's kind of a cool gimmick. You know, he can kind of do a little sword slash and everything, but uh, Age of Extinction was not the best time to be a Transformers fan. ROTF Jolt that I just dropped. There's Jolt right there. Another RC Sister trash piece. This looks like the part of a, like a fast action battle or barricade or something. Look at that, man. Just the whole arm inside half of the car. Funny stuff. Here is <laughs> a beat up. Not super incomplete, actually. I'm seeing a few little pieces missing here and there. But he seems to actually largely be there. A uh, Looks like he might be yellowed a little bit. Yeah, I think he's yellowed a little bit at the torso, but that's a Generations Blitzwing right there. Uh, looks like he's missing half his head. That might be a part. Uh, yeah, I actually don't even have this toy anymore. <laughs> I have the... Uh, no, I don't think I have any version of it anymore. Kind of an odd mold. Don't really like that one too much. Uh, we have Dark of the Moon Starscream. Horribly incomplete. Love this figure. Again, don't have this exact figure anymore. I just have the Thundercracker version. This one's sad. Alternators... Blue streak, silver streak. I don't remember what exact name they gave him, but you know, one of the one of the bros. He is horribly incomplete. Rest in peace. Uh, another devastator part. Fun, fun times. This this is a toy I have. First movie Thundercracker. What a mess. So if I if I ever like am missing a piece, uh, I could maybe go to here, but I don't think he's really gonna have much that I need. Uh, what else we got? This one's sad. Orion Pax. Generations Orion Pax. Totally legless. Really good figure, though. Love this one. Uh, and then we got a little missing arm, missing arm, limb, uh, Fall of Cybertron Steel Jaw. Oh, here is a part of that. Alternators. Blue slash silver streak. Here is a uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe wheelie. I have this one complete. This one's missing a leg. I think this is one of my first thrift store finds, I believe. I think I got him at the thrift store years and years ago. This is a part of a Legends class Cybertron Soundwave. Deluxe Bumblebee Torso. That's trash. Oh, here's more parts of that first edition customized RC. You can see she has Starscream's head now. So whoever did that was uh, quite the Sid Phillips. Here's a brawl piece maybe maybe it's a piece to a brawl i'm not quite sure uh we've got this which whenever i see it it's like i remember what it's from but i never do maybe this is from a fallen like a revenge of the fallen the fallen i don't know this is funny he doesn't really go in here but kind of an inside joke between my brother and i this old uh, x-men movie Hugh jackman wolverine he just chills in there another cannonball part uh, this is so close, yet so far, Deluxe Bumblebee. Uh, he's missing, like, the shoulder pads. He's missing one chest plate. I think it's actually, like, broken. Uh, he's missing, like, a window piece on his leg. So close, yet so far on this one. He's very floopy. He was very well played with. I do love this figure, though. I have the Cliff Jumper version of it. And I think we're almost done. We have uh, another Bumblebee leg. So maybe someday I might be able to try to kit bash some bumblebees together. Yeah, I was right. It was like the ROTF breakaway. Oh, is his head in there? Yeah, his head's in there. Can we open the cockpit and see him a little bit better? I don't have this repaint of him. I don't have this color scheme. But he's, he's actually pretty cool. I wouldn't mind a studio series of him. There is a uh, component to something. Uh, I really can't tell you. Maybe Energon era. And then another Energon guy right here. I think that was one of the Bruticus boys, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a Bruticus boy. And then, I think that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's pretty much it.
so I might try to piece together that, uh, this guy. I might try to piece him together. Salvaging the last bit he needs to complete himself from his fallen comrade sideways. We have a complete dead end. Uh, he just has a sideways wing. I think it's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's all there now. I, I, I think so. Uh, I've displayed far worse, so he's actually going in the collection. That's actually really fun. Um, yeah, and you know, he's he's got an incorrect panel there. It's so funny, though, that Sideways had that one piece. Uh, so yeah, I might paint that black someday, or I might just leave it. Kind of continue with the lore of, you know, he was able to retrieve a wing from his comrade Sideways, and he still wears it as a badge of honor or something. Yeah, he's actually going to be in the collection. But the reason why I'm returning is because I absolutely entirely neglected this bag. Uh, this is a bag of smaller things that I have had uh, in my, you know, junk for quite some time. So, uh, we have this Minicon, it looks like. Not exactly sure who that is. I just flipped his head in. I'm not super well versed on mini cons, but we've got a mini con right there. Uh, we have, uh, looks like that's a piece of a leader brawl, so that's actually pretty nice. Uh, we do have a uh, very incomplete Dinobot right here. So the funny thing is, uh, this is the Universe Dinobot. I got one uh, years and years ago at a local game store, and it had a lot of quality issues. And I actually found one at uh, the thrift store. Uh, totally beaten up, incomplete, yada yada, but I had the pieces to restore that. I don't even own Universe Dinobot anymore. I uh, kind of wish I still kind of did. But yeah, uh, it's incomplete pieces to a Dinobot. Uh, this is a uh, Robot Heroes Hound missing a leg. I've had him for a very long time. Uh, we have... What's he doing in here? Is there something wrong with him? Or is he perfectly fine? Oh yeah, he's br he's busted. He's got a busted leg. Uh, this is a universe like Legends Class Beachcomber. I guess his only issue is that he has a busted leg. I don't remember when I got him. I don't remember if like I broke it and then I got a new one because I know I already have this toy like not broken. But yeah, that's kind of a shame. Uh, oh well, I guess he can live in vehicle mode like he was. A uh, really nice figure though. I still haven't gotten the the new deluxe yet, and it's kind of sad I haven't because I'm a huge Beachcomber fan. Oh, we'll just toss him back in there. This is actually a childhood toy. Uh, this is my childhood. Incomplete, totally busted up, weird in every way. That's a McDonald's Beast Wars part. Uh, Injector. Uh, he's missing some fins, he's missing limbs. Uh, but yeah, we had a lot of fun with this guy growing up. I do have a minty, nice, complete one in my collection now, which is really nice. I love having this guy because he's so fugly. Uh, he's definitely probably one of the weirdest Transformers toys ever made. But I'm happy I've got him. Uh, a few more things in this bag. Here is the rest of that guy. Uh, looks like his arm broke off, his leg broke off. I think we might have had him ever since we were kids, if I'm not mistaken. Cool little uh, tarantulas type dude. Uh, we've got another insect leg portion. Uh, here is the Universe Dinobots raptor head. Such a shame that the Kingdom Dinobot is yellowing. Such a shame, man. Why is that discoloring? He's not even white or gray or anything. Man, Hasbro had a lot of yellowing QC issues back in the day, that's for sure. Alright, and then the rest of this bag, we've got some more limb pieces, we've got some broken off fins to Injector. I mean, he was in decent shape, I could have probably restored him, but I just wanted a new one. Oh, dude, awesome! Oh my gosh! A uh, callback to my Armada Unicron video, I was missing this on the inside of my Armada Unicron. And I was like, oh man, I don't know where that piece is. And I seriously went through my tub of, like, random parts, and I couldn't find it. Here it is. Here it is, right here. So I can put, give that to my Armada Unicron. That's awesome. This goes to show how long it's been since I've gone through this. There's another part of that Minicon right there. Uh, there's the leg to that broken McDonald's toy, another fin. And here is a torso of a McDonald's Armada Red Alert. Alrighty, there we go. That is now it. I will, uh... Now, go back in time to my original outro of the first portion of this video because I kind of finished it and then I realized I still had things to do. Okay, bye! But other than that, uh, I have retrieved the item that I needed and that was the Ultimate Devastator part. This is going to go back in the basement because, oh boy, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot of junk. It's a lot of junk. But I want to thank you guys for watching me go through literal garbage that I'm holding on to for rainy days.
I mean, hey, it, it comes in handy sometimes. I've already demonstrated that it genuinely can. Alrighty, there we go. Let me know what you think. Hopefully these toys someday can be used to uh, bring back to life some toys that otherwise wouldn't have a second chance. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Time for me to lug this back downstairs. Oh, fun.